There are a number of ruins on Earth which are either located atop nearly impossible mountaintops or on the ledges of desert hilltops, making sanctuaries from masterfully cut stone temples, and Masada is of no exception. The first official funded excavations in the area took place from 1963 to 1965 and was under former IDF chief of staff and archaeologist Yigal Yadin. The dry desert climate allowed the preservation of classy frescoes and organic remains belonging to the rebels who once called the sanctuary temples home. However, it has long been claimed that the archaeological team were not given full access to the site and have repeatedly noted that they are aware of the site's secret underground layers, yet were not able to fully explore it during the 60s. However, recent changes to attitudes toward historic sites has secured funding for a full exploration of these as yet unexplored underground tunnels. For the first time since 2006, a Tel Aviv University team, headed by Roman period archaeologist Guy Stiebel, have launched new excavations at the UNESCO World Heritage Site, examining previously unexplored areas of the legendary fortress. Quote, this is the next generation, Stiebel told the Times, adding that his team planned to excavate new sections of the dwellings as well as a garden constructed by Herod. He further noted, quote, Our intention is to further explore a mysterious underground structure that was detected in the earliest aerial photographs of the site in the 1920s. Yet, alas, the building's underground layers have remained unexplored. Dr. Stiebel, intriguingly, although seemingly aware of the void's existence, was reluctant to label its past uses, stated that it was possibly used as a hideout or escape route during the Siege of Masada, although he made it clear that he is unsure at the moment of the original purpose of the underground systems. Dr. Stiebel exclaimed his excitement to return to the site after an 11-year absence in statements to the media, quote, a lifetime would not suffice to get a glimpse of all the hidden beauties of Masada. Its magic is not just in the equipment, it is also in small things." End quote. Even though several experts believe that more than 95% of Masada's total size has already been explored, Stiebel believes that its core is yet to be discovered. We will, of course, keep you posted on any controversial or intriguing discoveries made during the excavations. It is a place which we find highly compelling. We have, in the past, explored, although albeit briefly, the astonishing, perplexing, and as yet unexplained ancient ruins that can be found within the ancient city of Aksa, located within modern-day Ethiopia. One of the main reasons we have repeatedly touched upon this exquisite site, a place located so far from the academically claimed civilizations, who some daring academics would even attempt to claim as the builders of such, its remarkably remote location alone could be seen as a smoking gun in regards to a conspiracy regarding the chronology of man. However, what we find even more incredible regarding this site the fact that the site is renowned for its obelisks, often named in mainstream reports as the site of a singular obelisk of Axum, instead of the accurate plural, obelisks of Axum. A ruse mystery history suspects is due to the toppled obelisk. Not only are there many obelisks at the site, so sharing it online as merely the site of the quote, obelisk of Axum, is not only inaccurate but we feel clearly an attempt to stifle people's discovery of this toppled obelisk, which has been estimated to have weighed hundreds, possibly upwards of a thousand tons in weight, once carved, transported, and erected at the site. Located in a place now known today as Aksum City, it is located within the northern regions of Ethiopia, found within the northern Stele Park. Furthermore, the obelisks alone contain even more evidential features to indicate that these structures were not only built by a lost civilization, but the same civilization, possibly responsible for the Great Pyramid's construction and many other ancient ruins throughout the world, for these perplexing false doors permeate the world's ancient foundations. Any ancient site which we come across during our explorations of antiquity, adorned with false doors, we know are extremely old ruins, 
False doors permeate nearly all ancient sites and ruins throughout the globe, and their true purpose for being remains a complete mystery. Additionally, if the fact that false doors indicative of the ancient pyramid builder's architectural signature and the toppled obelisk weighing hundreds of tons is not enough compounding evidence to convince you that the site was once the work of a lost civilization. The underground chambers at the site, actually created using polygonal masonry, should be the final nail in the investigative pursuit for all, thus directly connecting polygonal builders to architectural signatures found throughout the globe, most notably ancient Peru, even Giza and the Great Pyramids. Who were these elusive builders? Obelisks are clearly indicative of an ancient Egyptian construction, yet regardless of the reality that this is a rarely shared factual lead, connecting Axum to the pyramid builders themselves, and indeed the makers of the false doors, and the additional polygonal masonry, is an incredibly interesting link. Due to previous research, we know particularly regarding the casing stones in Giza, the polygonal casing stones upon the pyramids were of a significantly younger age than the highly eroded sandstone pyramids. Yet here it is in the same build which displays false doors, a feature which does, in fact, date from the same era, a perplexing enigma to unravel. It is a mystery which we find highly compelling. We cover many structures on our channel, which often contain features and characteristics that the academically claimed constructors were simply incapable of achieving. Enormous megalithic blocks, some weighing far into thousands of tons, yet there also exists many other ancient structures with equally baffling features, such as extremely refined stone-cut architecture, seemingly only capable of achieving with advanced technology or enigmatic buildings with as yet unexplained ages and origins. One such structure is known as the Maiden's Tower, the oldest structure within the city of Baku in Iran. Many legends surround the origins of this structure, with vastly varying claims to its age. Some believe it is a mere 800 years old, while others attest to it being far more than 2,000. Many supposed specialists have examined the structure Yet, interestingly, they all seem to come to different conclusions regarding its original purpose. Some say that it was a lighthouse, some say it was a fortress or a burial chamber. Yet the most interesting explanations of its origins are found within the legends found within the local community. It is said that an ancient king once fell in love with his own daughter and built the tower due to his strange, incestuous devotion for her. He promised his daughter that if she were to marry him, he would give or build her anything if she were to agree. So she requested he build the tower. She supposedly visited the build regularly and consistently gave advice and her opinion on how she wanted the construction completed. Once it was built, it was the most reinforced, strongest building in all the land, yet instead of keeping her promise, she climbed to the top of the building and threw herself into the sea, presumably to escape the proposition given to her by her father. Yet, regardless of legends, the mystery as to the true origins of the tower, or indeed its age, remains a complete mystery. I feel that upon close examination of the structure, it has been masterfully reinforced and renovated at numerous times within its long life. With the original stonework being of a tiny scale, yet much of the structure has been reinforced and built upon, most likely for several different strategical reasons throughout the millennia. It is indeed possible that the original structure is many thousands of years old, yet due to the reconstruction seen upon it by numerous groups using numerous techniques, it has predictably resulted in the many specialists who have examined it, coming to different conclusions as to its original purpose. Interestingly, academic geologists have argued that it was constructed during the 9th and 15th century. This was due to the receding of the Caspian Sea, making it possible for the town to grow around it. Yet could the legends of the king's daughter plunging into the sea be true? with the tower originally having been built upon the shores of the sea? 
It seems we may never know. However, there are many other towers which dot the Earth with origins that are equally enigmatic. Some in particular are found deep within the Himalayas. Known as star towers, and for obvious reasons, not only is their construction a baffling ancient feat due to their geographical locations, but the original purpose of these towers is a complete mystery, escaping explanation, baffling of all who have ventured to them to study their build and characteristics in depth. Mostly located in Kham, Qingtang, and Kongpo, which are provinces of pre-modern Tibet. They were first described during the Ming Dynasty, around 1368. With carbon dating by Frederick d'Aragon apparently showing they were built approximately 500 to 1800 years ago. Yet these datings are so vast and vague, I postulate that they too may have experienced several conservation efforts and have been reconstructed or reinforced on several occasions throughout the eons. Actually being relics of a lost civilization whose original purpose has become lost, just like the civilizations who use them. Who built these mysterious structures? Why did they build them? Are they, as I suspect, far older than academia would ever admit to them being? In reality, being consistently regenerated relics of a lost civilization that throughout their lives have fortunately been reinforced and renovated throughout antiquity? We find such structures, their unknown age, and indeed their mysterious origins, highly compelling.